My research at Stiers involves taking a very small bite out of a very large subject, namely the creation of a middle class in Africa. The importance of this subject is that it's commonly held to be a central consideration in the story of economic development. And yet, taking a long historical view of this topic, it isn't one that has attracted a good deal of detailed research. There are many uh, judgments made about how a middle class was first brought into being and then suffered under colonial rule, uh, but these have not been examined in detail. So what I have done and doing is to take a sample of African merchants in Lagos between the dates 1850 and 1920 to examine exactly what happened to them. The dates are significant because the beginning of the story coincides with the end of the external slave trade. It goes on through the partition of Africa and concludes with the full establishment of colonial rule. What I find, in summary, is that the middle class was not eliminated. Some of it went underground or out of sight, but there were adaptations that had not been discovered and examined. Some people who were merchants struggling under the new conditions of colonial rule went into uh, creating a new branch of economy. They became property owners and rented properties and still do so today. Another group went into farming unexpectedly in the 1880s and created the world's second largest cocoa farming industry, that of southwest Nigeria. So this story is much more interesting and complex than it might seem to be at first sight, and it has wider implications for the study of entrepreneurship and for the study of African economic development today.